in early uh, 2019, late 2018, it was becoming really apparent that we needed more uh, square footage. We needed a new place. We were uh, shipping out too many packages, thousands of packages a day. We didn't have any room to operate. We were operating with two shifts of fulfillment people because there's not enough space. And uh, you know, we just needed new. We needed a bigger vault uh, for all our precious metals that were that we had there that we needed for fulfillment. I had been in prayer and, and looking uh, online to see if there's any properties that were open. And because of where our, our, our tax picture is in, the, in uh, Midwest United States, we're on the border of Ohio and Michigan. And uh, Ohio has a cat tax, and so it makes it about impossible for us to operate out of Ohio. So we had to operate right across the border of Michigan. It was not easy to find a place. You know, downtown Toledo, not a problem. But right across the border of Michigan, there really wasn't any buildings. Um, I did spot one building though that I thought, man, this, this, this could work. And uh, it was way over budget, um, especially if we're you know, operating without debt, which we, we are still operating to this day, and we still were operating 2018 without debt. So I uh, went over and looked at it several times, drove around it many times every, <laughs> every couple of nights, and I was like, man, this, is, this has got to be it, got to be it. On Sunday morning, I, I uh, remember coming over well, to the building we're at right now. And uh, I came to the parking lot and I, and I was gonna make an offer for the building. And it was gonna be a struggle. It was gonna be the first time that we were gonna take on debt as a company. So I pulled in the parking lot, you know, just sat out there, just knowing that I wanted to come over and pray about it. <laughs> prayed, 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 and uh, ready to leave. And I, I started driving up to the front of the building. Just then uh, a song came on the radio. And, you know, I always have Christian radio on for the most part. You, you have it on, but you're not really paying attention to what it's saying because you've already heard the same song 50 times before. Well, to my surprise, it caught my attention because it was a new song. And um, it was uh, Daniel Gokey, Haven't Seen It Yet. And I just want to read a, a few lyrics because this was speaking, speaking to me. The song goes, Have you been praying and you still have no answers? Have you been pouring out your heart for so many years? Have you been hoping that things would have changed by now? Have you cried all the faith you have through so many tears? Don't forget the things that he has done before. Remember, he can do it all once more. It's like the brightest sunrise, waiting on the other side of the darkest night. Don't ever lose hope, hold on and believe. Maybe you just haven't seen it yet. Just haven't seen it yet. You're closer than you think you are, only moments from the break of dawn. All his promises are just up ahead. And I'm literally pulling up to this magnificent building. And, and I'm, I feel it, like I feel God's presence at that moment. And I'm like, okay, this is what God wants me to do. So I go back to our office. I write up an offer for the property to buy it. And it's an offer I'm gonna have to take a loan on. I submit the offer. The property's been on the market for a couple of years. So I figured he'd be able to move off the asking price considerably given where its location is. and. Uh, how long it's been on the market. And to my surprise, I received a counter a couple days later that it was obvious he wasn't gonna move. I knew it wasn't it. So I walked away and kept looking. Roughly about four months later, I saw another property available for purchase and uh, right down the road from our current place. And it was, uh, it was a church, a price that we could actually afford. I'm like, ah! That's it, that's, that's the whole thing. Like this is a cash offer. I can buy this building, stay out of debt. And it's, uh, it's roughly out 20,000 square feet, open floor plan. It, it, you could just knock over a few walls and you know make an open floor plan for a fulfillment facility and uh, put an offer in. They accepted the offer. <laughs> we had to go through about seven months of rezoning. So I got, a, <laughs> that was an interesting experience where you'd go in these township meetings and people would tell you that, you know, they don't want, don't want it to be a business and you got to rezone it from ag to a B1. And it was actually was denied twice. Went to the uh, township board, which is the ultimate decision authority. And um, superintendent pitched the business. He knew about the business, went against the recommendation and we got it approved so we could actually buy a property and, and uh, move in. Two days after we closed on the, on the building, I got a call and it was a, a pastor and his church wanted to buy the building that I just bought. And I'm like, huh, because it took so long for the rezoning process to happen, uh, the business had had a really successful year. 
we could afford a little bit more building than we got. And the church was willing to pay us more than what we paid for the building. And uh, I went back to this same guy that denied me the first time. And I had decreased our price by almost half of what I was willing to offer from the time I originally wrote up the deal. And to my surprise, he was willing to move. And um, long story short, we sold the church. <laughs> we flipped it into this building, still debt free. And we're able to, uh, you know, make the necessary renovations to this building, and it's, it's magnificent. 37 acres, brick building, and it holds everything we need for the future of SD Bullion.